Good evening, my beloved. We are coming to you on this evening. We promised that we would pray for some of you, that we would share a word of God with you. And we are grateful to God even during this time of this, uh, what people are calling a pandemic. We thank God that we still have a God that we can trust and that we can believe. I just want to read the scripture to you in Psalms 91 that most of us are familiar with from the Message Bible that says, You who sit down in the high God's presence, spend the night in Shaddai's shadow, say this, Gone, you're my refuge. I trust in you and I am safe. That's right. He rescues you from the hidden traps, shields you from deadly hazard. His huge outstretched arm protects you. Under them, you are perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing, not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at high noon. Even though others succumb all around, drop like flies right and left, no harm will even graze you. You'll stand untouched. Watch it all from a distance. Watch the wicked turn into corpse. Yes, because God, your refuge, the high God, your very own home, evil can't get close to you. Harm can't get through the door. He orders his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they'll catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. You'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes and kick young lions and serpents from the path. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care if you only get to know and trust me. Call me and I'll answer. Be at your side in bad times. I'll rescue you then throw you a party. I'll give you a long life and give you a drink, a long drink of salvation. Amen. So many of you have asked for prayers. So many of you have uncertainty. Some of you might even be afraid, but we come to let you know that there's nothing to be afraid of as long as you trust in God. So we're going to just, just take a few moments to spend with you, take a few moments to reach out to God. I'm grateful to have, of course, my wife, Karen, here. Um, and we are just grateful to be able to share with you um, so many of you from all over, um, not only in our area, not only our church members, but people from all over the United States. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. I'm on tonight to um, to offer a, a word of prayer to everybody who has asked for a prayer request you know what those requests are. So it's time to let your faith work and just trust God and just believe God. It doesn't matter what the reality is, but we serve a supernatural God and God is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. So I need you to remove any distractions right now so that the word of prayer can go forth and work in a powerful and a miraculous way. So let us look to the Lord and let us believe by faith we got to believe by faith. We got to believe by faith. I need your faith to work. So, Father, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We come tonight to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. God, we adore you. We magnify you. We bless your name, O oh God, because you're worthy to be praised. So, Father, we pray, oh God, that you would remove any obstacles, any hindrances, God, that will disturb us, oh God, from receiving from what you have for us tonight. God, we thank you, oh God, that you have all the power. We thank you, God, that you can speak, oh God, and things begin to happen in the atmosphere, oh God. You can cause the atmosphere to shift in a way, God, that it will conform to your glory. 
So Father, we come saying thank you for being God. We come saying thank you for being our healer, our protector, and our miracle worker, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Now, God, we pray that you would, oh God, just remove, oh God, any of our, yes. our obstacles, God, any of our um, ways, our doubts, oh God, that have caused us to hinder to cause us not to believe in the name of Jesus. God, we, we're so busy, God, watching the news. We're busy having unnecessary conversations about this COVID-19, oh God. But there is nothing that takes you by surprise in the name of Jesus. So God, I'm asking that you would answer prayer on tonight from A to Z, oh God. All of those who have submitted prayer requests, oh God, whether it's healing, whether it's deliverance, oh God, whether it's an open door, whatever the request is, oh God. God, I pray that you would move by your power and by your spirit and by your might in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you are looking for people to worship you. Yes, You're looking yes, for people, oh God, to come to you with humility yes. in the name of Jesus. God, we have put everything and everyone before you, oh God, without giving you yes, the yes. praise, the honor, and the glory, oh God. So if this is what yes, it's yes. taking, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for yes, us yes. to come to you, oh God, then so be it in the name of Jesus. God, after all Oh God, I say amen. After, oh God, I have prayed this prayer, oh God, by obedience to you. I thank you for the testimonies that will come, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you would bless churches everywhere, oh God. Help us to be united and to get on one accord, oh God. Time out, oh God, for people building their own kingdoms in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, I pray right now that you would have your way, oh God. Oh God, I pray that you would touch leaders, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you would convict them. God, in the name of Jesus. It's not their church, oh God, but it's your church in the name of Jesus. So God, I pray that you would help us tonight to trust and to believe you, to walk on your word, oh God, to stand by your word, God. Help us to draw nigh unto you, God, even in prayer, oh God, yes, in the name of Jesus. God, we need you right now, God. Our children need you, oh God. This nation needs you, oh God. Our leaders need you, oh God. So I know, oh God, that you're still doing miracles today. I thank you, oh God, that you're still answering prayer on today. Oh God, those who don't even have a job right now, I thank you for the flow of income right now in the name of Jesus. God, you can do it, God. You can do anything but fail, God. Help us not just to read the scriptures, but help us to walk it out, God, by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I plead the blood of Jesus, of everyone who's listening, everyone who's watching in the mighty name of Jesus. Seal our homes with the blood of Jesus. Yes, Seal our children, oh God, with the blood of Jesus. And those of us who are still going to work, oh God, cover us as we walk in to these buildings, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Send your angelic host, oh God, to protect us in the mighty name of Jesus. We rebuke any disease, oh God. We rebuke any sickness, oh God. We rebuke, God, any hindrance, oh God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, I thank you for the worshipers, God, who will worship you, oh God, yes. without reservation in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, oh God, that you are sealing us right now with your spirit, oh God, and I thank you for the power, oh God. Thank you for your power, oh God. Thank you for your power, oh God. Power to destroy yokes in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you are worthy and worthy to be praised. I need you to move right now, oh God. There is somebody, God, that is on here right now looking for you to answer, oh God. They are discouraged. They are downtrodden. Don't know what to do, oh God. Don't know what to say, oh God. Fill their mouths with hope, oh God. Fill their mouths, oh God, with praise towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you for the prayer warriors. I thank you for the intercessors, oh God. I thank you, oh God, those who, for those who are not even afraid to pray, those who have faith enough to pray, oh God. Somebody's diagnosed with cancer, oh God, but you are still a healer, oh God, to dry up the tumors in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I believe you today, oh God. I thank you, Oh God, for the remnant that you are raising up right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I need you to move, God. I need you to move, oh God. I need you to move, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, I thank you right now for what you have already done. I thank you, oh God, for what our ears have not seen and our ears have, our eyes have not seen and our ears have not heard. So 
I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I consider it done. And after this, God, I'm going to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for those who have asked for prayers. I have looked at over 100 names and requests that have asked for your blessings on today. God, we don't even know what they're all for. We don't know the situation. And we also realize that it's not even our business to know. But God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would move on every situation, that you would give comfort where comfort is needed, God, that you would touch those, God, that are in need of healing, that you would just touch those that have tears that need to be wiped away, families that need to be brought together again. We look at homes where there might be even domestic violence because of those being together in their house, God. We look at those who have other situations, don't know what they're going to do or how to take care of the family properly. But God, you gave us in your word the promise that you would be with us and that you would take care of us. And God, so we come today giving you praise and glory. We come to say thank you for what you have done, but not only what you have done, but what you are going to do in our lives right now. We come with the understanding that no weapon is formed against us is going to prosper. We don't care what it is, if it's a disease, God, if it's a virus, God, if it's a financial situation, God, whatever it is, God, we pray that you would move in that house right now, move in that home, move on the job, look over the workers, God, that are going to work, that are named essential, that have to go out, God. We pray that you would allow a host of angels just to watch over them, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray you bless the churches, God. For some reason, you have allowed us to shut down. But God, we know that you already know the purpose and the reason. And we pray that you would allow us, God, to reflect on those things, God. Allow us to understand that even though we did what we did day to day and week to week, that without you, we cannot make it. We pray that you would open doors right now. God, that you would make ways out of no way, oh God. We pray that you would even bless those who have doubt in their mind and may not really have accepted you. We pray that they would see that you are God and beside you there is none other. They need you right now. Pray that you bless the family, bless our family, bless Karen and I right now, God. Help us to continue not to stop, not to let anyone to stand in our way. But God, we pray that you would be lifted up, that you would allow it to move forth in the name of Jesus. Bless those who are listening to us. Bless them right now in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, God, that we can even do this. We thank you for this media, this way of doing things. We thank you, God, and we pray that you bless and keep us within your care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Anything you want to say before we go? Nope. No. God bless you. We love you. We pray that you would just continue to trust in God, continue to just keep your hand in his hand. We know that God will keep you if you only trust in him. God bless you. We walk by faith and not by sight.